Hello and welcome to Justice. I'm Judge Janine Pirro. Tonight, another day, another Obamacare delay and the senseless killing of an innocent giraffe. But first, my open. President Barack Obama is using you as an excuse to be a lawless president, hurting you, me, and the very essence of our system of government, and in the process, our nation as well. The latest example, this week he signs into law a raise in the minimum wage, albeit in the future for federal contract employees only. Now to some of you this could be a good thing, but that's not the point. This is about power, the blatant, pervasive and unapologetic power grab and the abuse of the office of the president. He uses as an excuse that he just can't wait for Congress to act, so he's going to get in there and do it himself. He makes believe that Congress won't work with him, when in truth, he is the one who won't work with Congress. He thumbs his nose at Congress, saying he's got a pen and a phone. Well, Mr. President, how about you use that phone to make a local call to Congress and offer to work with them instead of trashing everyone and creating a divisive, bitter atmosphere in Washington and the rest of the country. But then again, this president has no leadership skills. Anyone who even considers saying the following doesn't even know how to be a leader. That's the good thing about being president. I can, I can do whatever I want. I've got a pen and I've got a phone and that's all I need. Who talks like that? This is a democracy. This is the United States of America. Our founders broke from a king, from a monarchy, so that we could be a government of, by, and for the people. Instead, we have a president who ignores laws against warrantless wiretapping and then even sanctions his administration's perjury about that very wiretapping. We have a president who signs laws he doesn't intend to follow, who changes laws that Congress legally enacts, and then uses executive orders somewhere in the middle to do whatever the hell he pleases. And this week, he requires companies to swear to the IRS that they are not hiring or firing employees based on the impact of Obamacare on their bottom line. What business of the government is it how an employer chooses to staff a private business? So now the IRS not only knows everything about our health, and the NSA knows everything about us and everyone we talk to, but now businesses, private businesses, are required to be transparent and not blame Obamacare for their failing business or their reduction in employees. To me, that's bullying. It's intimidation that rises to the level of a dictatorship. The president even arbitrarily decides what laws law enforcement agencies should enforce. In 2012, his DREAM Act prevented immigration, customs, and enforcement from doing their job, deporting illegals, which would be fine if Congress passed a law. How can you be the chief executive officer and block enforcement agencies from their statutorily mandated obligations? But President Obama takes no blame. That's not how our democracy functions. That's not how our Constitution is written. So let's be honest. I, I need a dance partner here. And the floor is empty. But according to Congress, Mr. President, you don't even show up at the dance. You are not only killing the ability of Congress to pass laws that reflect the will of the American people, but you are wrecking every semblance of legal foundation upon which this country was founded. Candidate Obama said, The biggest problems that we're facing right now have to do with George Bush trying to bring more and more power into the executive branch and not go through Congress at all. And that's what I intend to reverse when I'm President of the United States of America. I guess he changed his mind. This is not the first or the last time the president has or will mislead us. So why care? Let me ask you this. Do you remember when your kids were little and they started testing the boundaries? When they would do or say things that got worse and worse? 
at some point, as a parent, you had to step in and stop them. They needed to learn. Imagine what would have happened if you didn't step in, if you didn't stop them. Now think about it. The president is the most powerful man on the planet. He said it himself. He'll do what he wants. What's the next thing he's going to do? And the one after that? And the one after that? Where does it all end? That's my opening.